Greetings YouTube! Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back to another look at an early access game. And this time we are returning to a game I looked at a very long time ago called Bugs Must Die by DG Game Studio. Now when I first looked at this game it was little more than a very very rough demo but it did have some interesting ideas and a unique setting. So I was happy to hear that this game has finally made it onto Steam. The developer ran into a lot of problems with the Chinese government. The developer is Chinese and due to censorship the release of this game for a while was in doubt. But I'm glad to see as someone that's very pro free speech that this game was able to be released to Steam. Let's jump in and have a look and see what's changed from the first time I had a look at this game. Now this is one of the new additions to the game, there's actually a story now. We are part of the Galactic Pest Control Company and we've been sent to a planet far away called M79 to rescue our comrades who have been captured by some bug people, the Mantis people. I'm going to skip past this because I do recommend you have a look at it yourself. And we're going to start with the training mission, now this is all new. As you may recall, I had to work out how to play the game the hard way in the demo. It's not too hard to understand the basics, but there are a lot of special powers and abilities that you have. And this tutorial really lays it out quite nicely and makes makes the game a lot easier. Now this game is best, is best played with a controller. Unfortunately, mine had a bit of an accident, so I'm using the keyboard and mouse. But even then, the controls are quite crisp. And that's one of the things I really enjoyed. I hate games, I hate shooter games with clunky controls. Now we have access to several different weapons. And as you go through the game, there's a whole progression system. You can upgrade your vehicles. And your level ups actually give you additional abilities and weapons. So there's a lot of incentive to go through and replay levels for a better score. And there are also three different difficulties for each level. So we're just playing on normal difficulty at the moment. Relatively straightforward. But if you want the if you want to get all the, the best goodies in the game, you have to go back and replay the levels in hard mode. I believe it's actually called hell mode. Okay, so now we, we can access our different sub weapons. And I'm gonna use the median volt power, which projects a uh, voltage field around the vehicle. So each of the sub-weapons have their own use. I tend to, to use the grenades quite heavily because you can throw them over the top of barriers and attack enemies from behind cover. Okay, so these are the, the upgrades for your primary weapon. I always upgrade the machine gun first. This weapon is uh, it's basically infinite, uh, a weapon with infinite ammo. You'll be using it for most of the game, saving the bigger guns for the more tougher enemies. So I'm going to call in some air support. Which is, as you can see, quite devastating. Now the enemies are somewhat smarter now. They do attack you a bit more actively. They try and track you. One of the things that I found was most of these, these enemies weren't too smart. And you could bait them from behind cover. So they, they are making a more active uh, attempt to try and kill you. When the upper left energy bar is shining, press Z on your keyboard to unleash your vehicle special power. Okay, let's give that a go. Oh, that's quite nice. Very effective. Shredded that boss in just a few seconds. We'll definitely have to remember that. Okay, 100% complete. We've actually got some good money that we could use to to buy upgrades and a new sub-weapon. So let's play the first level of the game, which is the one that we played in, in the demo. I don't have any drones yet. We'll, we'll stick with the Jeep for now, it's quite useful. Alright, now this looks familiar. This is the level that we played. Now I would have liked to see a bit more life in the, in the levels. They do still feel a little bit barren. But there, 
rest assured there are industrial complexes, there's uh, volcano levels, there's a lot more detail in subsequent levels. The first level is quite plain, but uh, it's, it certainly doesn't remain that way for long. So the developers added a lot more uh, a lot more variety in the levels, which is something I really wanted. At least the enemies are actually giving us a bit of a challenge now. And remember, I can only take three hits before I uh, buy the farm. Well, actually, after three hits, your vehicle gets destroyed and you end up in an emergency escape pod, which is quite weak. You definitely don't want that to happen during a boss battle or you'll be in some trouble. Let's uh, use our melee weapon. Oh, we took a hit, taken a hit there. I think it might be time to use our airstrike. There we go. There we got me. One more hit and I'm finished. There we go. An upgrade for our weapon. That's going to do the trick. This is a mini boss. They're, they're quite easy to kill. There we go, and we got our got our health back from rescuing some of the friendly civilians. Oh, he took a hit already. Let's try and take this guy out. He looks like he's bulletproof. Oh no, he's we, we destroyed his shield. It's okay. We give him give him a nice uh, nice bullet breakfast. Now I believe, yes, my special power is active. Take this. And that that is actually a very very useful ability. We've got a new weapon. I found nothing here. Okay. Oh, we got a new weapon. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it'll be very useful. And that's the first mission of the game complete. And we got some new weapons. Excellent. So let's have a look at the next level and see see what's changed. All right, and it's time to check our loadout. What I'm going to do is swap over to the tank because this mission looks like it might be a little bit tougher than the previous one, and we might need a little bit of extra firepower. So we're going to grab a machine gun, chain gun, and a rocket launcher. We don't have any drones yet. But I'm thinking the metal dash might be useful. Air support, okay. Super supply. We we, we might try the supply drop. That could that could be quite useful. Now we've got some extra powers we can use, so let's take some of those. I want to take as many as I can. We'll need every advantage. Now this is one thing that's very useful. As you complete the different levels, you can upgrade your weapons. So I'm going to try and... Looks like I can't upgrade my machine gun. But what we'll do... Okay, we don't have enough yet. That's fine. So as you go through the... As you go through the missions, you'll be able to upgrade your weapons and make things a little bit easier. You're going to have to do that for Hell Mode, because I have played Hell Mode. And it is every bit as much as difficult as the name suggests. So we'll try some melee weapons. Okay, so the, the gear storm is quite useful. It's a circular attack. But of course you can't spam it. You do have to wait for it to to recharge. This is the metal dash. This is the one that we selected for the mission. Basically, it allows me to be a little bit more mobile, and in the tank, that's definitely something I'm going to need. And finally, we've got the shield. Now, this one is a little bit harder to, to use. You have to use the shield just as a projectile is going to hit you. And then if you, you get your timing wrong, it will instantly kill you. Okay, so let's give it a try. You have to get your timing spot on. 
Uh, I'm just going to try and remember how to use it. Ah, oh, right mouse. No? Space bar. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go, got it right. So you have to use it the nanosecond before the vehicle uh, gets struck by the projectile. It, I haven't managed to master it yet. I tend to use the metal dash to, to dash out of trouble. 100% completion. So this is where this is where things are going to get real. Oh, here we go. Full upgrade for our weapons. Not too bad. Right off the bat. The upgrades really do feel powerful, and they're very useful. So you do want to try and keep an eye out for them. You can upgrade each of your weapons as well. So you want, if you can upgrade all of your weapons, it definitely gives you a, a big advantage against some of the tougher enemies. It's almost impossible to take them on without it. Oop, I got a bit careless then. Let's take out this uh, spawner. Oh, thank you. I needed the repair. Now these boxes here will give you a random power up. We don't actually need those, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my chain gun. The tank is unfortunately a bit slow, but it can take a hell of a hiding. Ah, oh, damn. Speaking of hiding, I want to try and stay mobile, of course. Ooh, I wonder what that is. A broiling saw. Let's give that a try. Once we find an enemy worth using it on. Oh, very nice. So, it, it, much like the grenade, it actually will attack enemies behind cover. And everything is uh, is falling before the might of my, my machine gun. Die, bugs. So this is a nice, this is a nice easy level. Plenty of health. Upgrade my rocket launcher. So at least when I go and fight this this boss, I'm going to have a fully upgraded set of weapons. That should make the the battle a little bit easier. Thankfully, your weapons don't overheat. They don't run out of ammo, and you can go for broke. Let's go take the boss on. Invaders go to die. So this guy is quite well armed. Let's uh, let's give him a taste of some machine gun justice. Oh, he's got heat-seeking rockets. There we go. We took him out. No clue, sir. This base has underground parts. Investigate it now. So I was planning to leave the the video at that, but I think we should go and take out on the underground base. Let's let's try the next level, and I'll because this is this is one of the new levels with a, a different aesthetic, and this will show you one of the new settings in the game. All right, and now we're going to prepare for mission two. So what we're going to do is let's buy an ice driver and that will give us a little drone that will help us out and we've got some sub weapons I picked the broiling saw which was the armor piercing saw the circular saw and we've got our machine gun gatling gun and rocket launcher let's go now this is where the game really starts to get hard I, I, uh, I have struggled to finish this level because the difficulty takes a very sharp turn to the north here. There's a lot of the newer enemies. The um, the enemies, are the static turrets, and the the enemies that have some special powers. You've got to be very careful. Oh, there we go. So it's time. To, maybe might be time to lob some hand grenades. Take out some of these turrets to even the odds a bit. 
got one more over here. Oh, he got me. I wasn't watching what I was doing. It's okay. So I'll chuck, chuck some grenades up. Try and even the odds a bit. Okay, so that's two turrets down. Oh, we got some enemies sneakily teleporting in. Luckily for my little drone friend, he, he when he opens fire, he tends to give me a couple of seconds of warning before before they start uh, attacking me. But enemies can teleport in this game, so they can they can close that gap very quick. You gotta be careful. Some health for us. Definitely need that. Oh, and some teleporting enemies as well. Oh, and the, there's barriers around that, sh that pushed me straight into the gunfire then. But luckily these these barriers here will stop the melee enemies from attacking us. Here we go, missile control. That could be quite useful. Give us a little bit of an edge. Oh, we're doing quite well. Considering we're, we're trapped in here. Thankfully my upgraded machine gun is making short work of these guys. So we've got easy or we've got hard. I think I think you know what my choice is going to be, guys. We're not, uh, we don't do things by half measures here on the channel. We're going hard, mate. Let's do it. I may fall in battle, but we will fight with honour. And we'll fight with hand grenades and cheat a bit too. Since we're since we're outnumbered ten to one, I think we can we can cheat a little bit. There we go and go around the other way. So yeah, you you really do have to use your special powers like so. Try and get every advantage that you can. Oh, I took a hit then. We're, we're, we're doing okay. One turret left. So we're at half health. We had to be very careful. Things are only going to get harder from here on. But luckily we can bait these guys back to a choke point. Oh, what the hell was that? So there's a turret that... Ah, okay, these turrets seem to be... It seems a little bit unfair, but okay. I think I took out the other one. Alright, we're doing okay. We can, we can weather this storm. Some ammo for us. Time to swap to the to the chain gun, I think. This looks ominous. Choke point. No health. Well, okay. That looks crazy. There we go. So those turrets shoot out those spiky balls. You have to take them out really quick. I, I really don't know if we'll make it all the way through. I've never made it through on hard mode. I've made it okay on easy. But uh, we will definitely make things interesting for you guys. This is generally where I buy the farm. Because things get uh, pretty crazy. The combination of turrets, spike balls, and enemies with very big sharp sticks <laughs> kind of makes things a little bit hard. Got to try and kill these damn spike balls. Got to destroy those missile launchers as well. I think 
think we need to get rid of the spike ball launches more so than the the missiles. We're going in. I may come to regret this decision. Oh, there we go. So yeah, the the metal the metal dash is one of the most useful abilities in the game, especially when you're in a large tank. I can't seem to kill those things. I'll try a super dart. Ah, there we go. Got one more precious presser switch to destroy, and we're on to the boss. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is usually about as far as I make it. I usually can't get past... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Straight away. Yeah, this looks... You, this looks a lot like the old Japanese bullet hell shooters, and it's definitely... <laughs> I don't think I could do this. Not, not in this little dinky ship. If I do, it will certainly be a miracle. Nah, <laughs> there we go. Mission failed. I wish I had have been able to get to the boss, but hopefully that will give you a bit of an idea of whether you will enjoy this game. I certainly did, and I'm certainly going to go back and give this another go. I really like this game, and I'm really happy the developers were able to get it onto Steam. I look forward to playing the game and getting a little bit better at it. And I'd love to come back and play a little bit later in the game and show you what, what the later levels are like. As always, leave me a like, leave me a subscribe, check this game out. Thank you to the developer for the review copy of the game, and I look forward to seeing your future work. Until next time, Skill Incarnate, out.